The power of the law of exposure is the key to controlling the simulation. Because you're living in a simulation right now. But you can control it. And you can create and manifest and mold it just the way that you want to. Through the law of exposure. And I'm going to explain this to you. As it relates to your physical you know, simulation that you think is real. And also your imagination. Using your imagination to create your reality. And this is this, and the law of exposure covers this, okay? Because say you're in a situation and you have, or you, you have a friend or you have a family member that's extremely rich. They drive a million dollar car. They live in a $10 million house. They have great relationships. They have a great physique. They do everything right. And, you're, and you start to become around this person a lot. You start to spend a lot of your time with this person, even though you're working a nine to five job, you're making like thirty to sixty thousand dollars a year. And but you but now you're spending a lot of time with this family member, and you start to you start to get exposed to this type of living, like seeing this person, this family member, this friend of yours, driving this million dollar car. Now you're driving it. Now you're in the car. Now you're in the house. Now you're you're seeing the way their life operates. Now you're exposed to the law of exposure and what is seen cannot be unseen because you actually experience this happening to you. You've now experienced in your simulation that this is possible because you have a friend or a family member that's doing it and you're seeing their life and you're being exposed to this. But hang with me because I'm going to teach you how you can simulate this in your imagination. And it will expose you to the law of exposure and will do the exact same thing. Because what this does is it changes what you consent to being true. Because everything, your world is everything as you pushed out, okay? And how you change what you consent to being true is through the law of exposure. So now you're seeing your friend or your family member that's now living this life. Now you're exposed to that. Now you believe that this can happen to you as well because now you're exposed to it. Now you change what you consent to being true. But say you don't have this friend or family member that has all this money. How can I do it then? Through your imagination, through Neville Goddard's teachings and many other teachings, using your vivid visualization or mental rehearsal tools that you have, okay, through focus, focused attention, present moment awareness, and knowing you're living in a simulation. Now you can visualize, visualizing yourself driving these kinds of vehicles, living in these kinds of houses, having this kind of physique that you admire and you want, having these relationships, having everything that you desire. And you're playing these scenes out in your imagination. You're mentally rehearsing these scenes in your mind, okay? This exposes you to the law of exposure and changes what you consent to being true of your world. Because now you're experiencing a different reality in your imagination. And now you're like, okay, so this is possible. Whether you know it or not, unconsciously, if you're visualizing this stuff and you're living this stuff in your imagination, the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between your imagination and the simulation itself. And imagination actually creates your, your simulation, the simulation that you're living in. So it's about mastering your ability to expose yourself to this through visualizations, through, through mental rehearsal. And if you can mentally rehearse things properly and correctly, you are exposing yourself and changing everything as you pushed out into your reality. And that's what everything as you pushed out means. It's everything you consent to being true. Can you believe this can happen to you? And when you're exposed to something through your imagination or the simulation, then things start to change and your world starts to shift. Because if you know someone in your reality now, the simulation that drives a Lamborghini, a McLaren, a Ferrari, whatever it is, your dream car lives in a really beautiful house, but you don't, but you're around this person all the time, You're exposed to what you consent to being true as being changed now. Because now you're like, okay, this is possible. It's not just 
thinking of it or watching it on TV or watching it on YouTube, you're now actually in the scene, thinking from it because you're actually there. This is the law of exposure. So you can experience this in the simulation, but you can also experience this and change things in your own imagination. Imagination creates reality. So when you have created a, a faculty of your mind to where you can vividly, mentally rehearse yourself living out this new life in your imagination as you're going to sleep at night and even throughout the day, just experiencing this stuff, like it speeds it up if you fall asleep with it, but you can also do this throughout the day because it's changing what you consent to being true. Everything is you pushed out into the simulation. And this, is, this law of exposure changes what you consent to being true. So everything is pushed out, changes. You shift realities this way. So when you start using, you start taking advantage of the law of exposure through mental rehearsal and vivid imagination by developing the faculty of your attention, your present moment awareness, that way you can rehearse, mentally rehearse the scenes. Like for example, you want to change where you live. You want to live in a beautiful house. You want to have a beautiful life, a, a, a fantastic life. So you see this, you, you go somewhere where you can down, even if it's on the internet, you can download this information and what it looks like. I used to do this all the time before I have everything that I have now. You go, you can look at a magazine. I used to look at magazines when I was in prison and I would download this information. I would look at it so closely, close my eyes and repicture these things. Repicture, repicture, repicture. The law of exposure. <clears throat> when you're looking at the photos, you're thinking of it. But when you're visualizing yourself being there, you're thinking from it, then you're exposed to the law of exposure. And that changes what you consent to being true of your world. And then that shifts you in the parallel realities to where this stuff starts to be able to happen because now you've changed your beliefs. Now you believe this can happen to you because you're experiencing it to be real in your imagination. You're seeing all this stuff to be real. And you're like, wait a minute. It doesn't even matter if you say, wait a minute. It doesn't matter whether you're really even paying attention. It's changing what you consent to being true if you're mentally rehearsing and visualizing this stuff. And the more that you do this, the more that you download this information, like the most beautiful house that you want to live in, you start looking at the rooms inside of it and then you visualize yourself walking around, touching different objects within the house. And you're just taking control of the direction of your attention in your imagination and mentally rehearsing these things, then you're exposed to this now, this new belief system. Now you consent to things being true because you're experiencing them in your imagination to be real now, that this stuff can happen to you. And what will happen is it will shift you to that reality to where certain doors are gonna open. You're just gonna drive somewhere and you're gonna meet someone that's gonna line up with a new job position or something's gonna happen to where the law of exposure is gonna open up a door where something's gonna happen to where you're gonna be making more money or something's gonna come into your life to where you automatically just act and you have a sense of knowing what to do. And you can't explain it because you're really gonna be just attracting it because you've changed, you've shifted realities at this point. You're no longer living in the old reality. You have now completely shifted this whole reality that you were living in. Everything is now shifted through the law of exposure. So this is what I want you to do. Anything that you just, like if you want a new physique or you want a great relationship or you want a beautiful car or a beautiful house or you, whatever, whatever it is that you desire, start looking into what this looks like in your life and then start mentally rehearsing this stuff in your mind and you're exposed to it. Or if you know people that are extremely successful or have the things that you want, hang out with these people. Try to spend as much time as you possibly can with these type, with these people that have the things that you, because that is also a link to the law of exposure because we start experiencing other people because they say, you can, you can tell anything from anyone by just looking at the five closest friends that they have. Like if you see a successful person, his five closest friends are gonna be successful too because they're linked with the law of exposure. So if you know someone like this, you can also link yourself this way and it's gonna change what you consent to being true. You're gonna have new things start coming into your life from that. But if you don't have that, you're still not limited because imagination creates reality. 
So you simply start imagining yourself doing these things, having these things, thinking from these events. And you will shift realities to the point where you're going to now be attracting these things to come to you because you've, you've changed and altered your world. Everything as you pushed out has changed. Everything you could sent to being true has changed through the law of exposure. And the more you do this, the more it's going to come to you. And it may not even take you to, it may not even require that you do it a, a million times. You could do it 10 times, five times, and it, you could see huge changes in your life. But it's about you redirecting your focus. So take certain moments of your day to start picturing yourself from an event, having something that you desire, living in a new house, driving a new car, having the physique of your dreams. Start picturing yourself from these events and it will change what you consent to being true and your reality, the simulation will shift because now you're exposed to this law of exposure. Through the law of assumption, this is how it materializes into your world. And this is a great way to look at it and how things are attracted to you. And what it does is it changes your concept of yourself because now you believe and consent to something entirely different of your world. Just by simply visualizing yourself having certain things in your, in your life now. You're now a different person. Even if you don't focus on being a different person, but you're walking around, living in this new house, driving this new car, you can't help but to change your concept of yourself. You're a different person now. The old version of you isn't, hasn't been exposed to that. So it doesn't believe and consent to that being, that can even happen. But now when you expose yourself, you have a limitless potential of attraction into your life. So this is very magical as it relates to the law of assumption, what Neville Goddard taught. And it was something I really, really wanted to share with you guys. And, it, and I want everyone to start really practicing this stuff. The law of exposure changes what you consent to being true and shifts you in the, in the parallel realities to where now you can accept new things and believe new things can happen to you because that's what it's all about. If you believe now that, you can, that something like this can happen to you, then it will. But if, you don't, if you're stuck down here and you never expose yourself up here to something new, then you're never going to allow those doors to open. Start exposing yourself through visualization until you master the technique. And you're going to have some really amazing things start happening to you guys. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.